Hey everybody, it is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. It's definitely raining again today. You can probably hear it. I'm doing my journaling for the day and I didn't do a recording yesterday of what I had done, but I did journal yesterday and I had a lot of fun doing that. I ended up adding this piece of velvet over the top of a sort of a worn out ribbon because I did want some sort of closure. I can feel this journal already getting pretty full and I just wanna be able to close it and keep it closed. So I do like the way that turned out and it's just glued with um, regular tacky glue. I still don't know what I'm gonna put on these. I will figure it out. We have the tag we made, the wallpaper. I put the tab on that page. Um, that was my journaling a couple of days ago. I love saving bits of trash. So this is a couple of little tags from tea, tea bags, <laughs> tea bag tags that I glued into place. Oh, I love this. So I recently made a collage sheet and it is supposed to be close by here. Well, it seems to have wandered away that you will see it at some point. Uh, I made a collage sheet of corsets from 1905. That's part of that sheet. And then this was one of the images and I went back and printed it on vellum. And I love the way you can see through that. This page was done, I just, um, took scraps of paper that had a lot of numbers on it and glued all of those down for some texture. I probably will do something else with this face. The page has white gesso on it and I feel like gesso just soaks up the ink. Everything can look really dark and then when it dries, you, you really don't see anything. Then again, I may leave it just like it is, but I just, I love the results with this vellum and printing that corset there. So. I thought I would just leave that where it is. Um, that was a little drawing that was floating around the workshop, so I put that in. And then, so my journal entry was just typed and printed on a regular piece of printer paper. And I thought, why can't I just distress this and make it feel old, even though it's a brand new entry? So I stamped it, distressed it. It's got, you know, the rings from the ink that I like to use. I keep a variety of bottles out here and lids so that I can dip them in paint or ink and then make rings on the pages. This is a sticker that I put into place and then on this part, let's move that. And then on the part where it was still sticky underneath, I just put a little piece of paper there. So it sticks here, but not there. And that was my journal entry yesterday. Then getting onto this page, you know that I love to save ephemera and trash. And this is the little brochure we picked up at the Rocky River Heritage Foundation. So I put that in there with a date and the date that Jason took me to visit that. This is fun. So these are new stamps and obviously I'm not going to be using those on, you know, pen pal mail or anything like that. But I did want to save, just kind of remember what I was using at the time. So I put those four on there and this is a fun piece of paper. This paper has a perforated strip across the top. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know what this paper was originally used for, but I love that you can tear that top piece off and do something fun with it. That, it just feels old to me. So what I thought I would do today on this page is a little bit of distressing and then maybe a butterfly stencil. So I'm gonna spray this page and then dry it. I love how crinkly paper gets when it has been wet and then dried. So I'm just gonna come back. Let's see if we have enough. I'm gonna lay it this way because I really think that it will do better this way. And you gotta be careful using a stencil like this with spray ink. The ink will run up under the edges. But I typically, so what I'm gonna do, two things. I'm gonna go ahead and have my dryer close by and I'm gonna have my cloth nearby where I can dry things off if I need to. So let's lay that flat and hold it into place. I dried it a little bit. I'm gonna come back and get the moisture off of the stencil and then spray again.
Oh, so that's really pretty. Something so simple is so beautiful. I have some tutorials going back maybe a couple of years ago that you might enjoy where I made some journals. One was a no sew journal and all of the pages were done like this and they turned out really pretty. I've been wanting to make some more of those for my shop. It's just really pretty to journal on something like this. I'm gonna dry this a little bit more and then do my writing. I can tell you when you have a shop where you sell things, the line can get blurred sometimes between keeping and selling. And every once in a while, I see something that I just really wanna keep for myself. And I'm not always so good at that. I may put it to the side and then it ends up in a pack. And that's really fine with me too because I have a lot of material out here. But I'm gonna try to do better at when I see something that I like, putting it in my journal immediately. That probably was not grammatically correct, but I think you know what I mean. I love this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that into place on this page so that I have it. And you know, one of the ways I love to journal, even though I'm journaling day by day and page by page and writing things down, you know, and keeping, basically keeping a record, it, it's memory keeping, it's diary. I still like to go back and add to pages with, you know, if I find stamps that I like that I want to try. So let's just put that there for now. And I love that. It's so pretty. We know that this is going to be paper clipped back onto the page, but let's do our writing for now. The way I used this page was to just journal around the shape of the moth. And you can write over the top of it as well. So either way is, is really, it's a really neat thing. Was that the Sphinx moth? Verdant Sphinx. Yeah, they're really neat. I've been tempted to put some of these beads onto these strings. These are so pretty. So let me tell you what I did. I was working on some designs for bracelets and I called this one the ocean because, I mean, obviously, that beautiful blue. Um, they're, they're not uncomfortable but I wear this Apple Watch and you know I love to make the bracelets that will go above and below the Apple Watch. This one sometimes though can get a little bit, okay let me reword that, they're not uncomfortable when you wear this for a short amount of time and you make sure, uh -huh, I'm not saying this right, um, you, if you wear this for 12 hours it starts to get uncomfortable. Let me reword it and say it that way. So I didn't list these but I still think they're gorgeous and I wear them. I just am really careful about what I put into the shop. I don't want to sell something that I am not 100% comfortable with. So this one is called the river because it reminds me of what we see on the Eno. All of those colors, the rocks, the water, you know, the sand, occasionally a piece of glass, the light that glistens on the water. These are not uncomfortable. So what I was thinking about doing is going ahead and put these in the shop as bracelets. And if you wanna cut them down and then have the beads, that's another option because there are some really nice stones in here. We'll put the name of what this one is in the description or in the video. I can't remember right offhand. So I took one of these bracelets myself this morning and cut it down because I wanted to have some of these stones on here and I think that's really pretty. Oops, there's another one. The holes are not huge but they're not really tiny on most of these either. So they go right onto the hemp cord and even though the you know this is a different color than the cover I'm okay with it. That might be really pretty. Now some of these beads, oh well that one went on, that's a small one. Some of them are a little bit too small. And I think for this, I like to gravitate more towards the natural looking stuff than the bright blue. Like that's, I think that's pretty. Still don't know if I wanna do that though. Let me know what you think about putting these on here, especially so let me show you, you can see how it turned out on this one. I think that's pretty and that's got some of my found objects on there. So let me know what you think. I might, I might end up leaving these on here. 
maybe I'll just let that sit for now. So my journaling is done for the day. I've got, you know, if I come across anything else today that I want to put in my journal, I just bring it out here and stick it in here somewhere. And that way I know that it's ready to put into the journal when I journal next, which should be tomorrow because I typically journal every day. So I've got my writing, I've got the little recent postage stamps with a note. I know I want to keep that, so I got that included. And I could write over here, I love this. So that is my journaling for today. Let me know what you think about the beads. Probably would be really pretty to add something that's more color coordinated. Does that totally clash? All right, I will be back really soon. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.